Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice, I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've struggled with for ages, which is how on earth to fill up an entire sketchbook. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll buy a sketchbook and you'll spend like three months being really intimidated by the blank white pages. Then you'll finally draw something. Then you'll spend the next about six months like tediously trying to draw something perfect on like every page. And when you get maybe like a third of the way in, you're like, this is too much effort. And you decide like you need a fresh start and like you've screwed up the sketchbook completely. Um, and that sketchbook, it wasn't the one. So you just buy a new sketchbook and then the entire cycle repeats itself <laughs> and of course you can never go back and finish the previous sketchbook because that one's old and it's already been drawn in and, and it's used and, and 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 you can't you can't go back and use that one gosh you need a new one <laughs> um so if you're stuck in the cycle what up you are so not alone um this is like one of my daily struggles as an artist and there's there's a lot of reasons why I struggle to fill up a sketchbook. Um, I'm not like an instinctive sketcher. I don't always want to sit down and sketch. Um, it's not like my first thought or something to do. And sometimes I'll think about it and then be like, I'm going to sketch tonight. And then I never do. <laughs> um, sometimes it's just that my sketchbook and drawing supplies weren't convenient to carry around with me. Um, and sometimes, a lot of the time, I just, I really didn't want to waste like a beautiful sketchbook or really nice paper. And so I was too afraid to actually do anything in it. So I've been trying to fill up sketchbooks for years and to, to date I've managed to completely fill up a grand total of one sketchbook up until now. <laughs> so I'm actually about to complete my second sketchbook and it took me about a year and a half of consistent drawing. Now that sounds like a really really long time but for reference in the previous one that took me about five years and I bought and started multiple sketchbooks in between starting and finishing it. Um, but for this sketchbook, this one was actually really different. I didn't buy any new sketchbooks, I kept working in it consistently, and I filled it up surely, slowly, but surely. And I've really enjoyed working in my sketchbook like I never have before, um, and there's a few things that I did that really helped me out with this. So I wanted to share some tips with you guys, some tips and tricks that worked for me and helped change my attitude towards sketching. So the first thing is to get the right sketchbook. So this is really important. The right sketchbook is gonna vary for everyone, um, but there's a few things that you should consider before you get your sketchbook. So the first is size. So for me, I've tried large sketchbooks, I've tried mini sketchbooks, and I found that for me the best are like the mid-size ones that are around five and a half by eight inches. Um, they give me enough space to sketch, but they're really easy to carry around in most of my bags. But if you always have a big bag with you, then a larger sketchbook might be more convenient for you. Just make sure that you pick a size that you can easily carry. And then as well as size, you need to think about quality and sturdiness. So the paper is going to be a really huge part of this. For me, I've always struggled because I would buy watercolor sketchbooks and the paper was so nice that I never wanted to waste it on anything but watercolors. Like I didn't want to sketch or like doodle or write lists or anything. I didn't want to stick stuff in because I felt like anything other than finished watercolor illustrations were a waste. Um, I also tried like moleskin sketchbooks, but they were too shiny to take watercolor well and the paper still felt so nice that I just felt like I was wasting it. For me, I found my favorite paper in the Handbook Journal Co. travel logs, but you need to find the paper that works best for you. And uh, for me, I wanted something that was sturdy, had enough tooth to take a wide variety of mediums, but wasn't so fancy or nice that I felt like I was wasting it. Uh, my sketchbook is sturdy, it's well made, it has a pocket for carrying around stickers and other things that I might pick up, has an elastic strap, and the paper allows me to stick stuff in, working gouache, watercolor, ink, pencil, and pretty much any medium that I could want. So the second tip that I have for you is to get the right attitude. So your attitude is just as important as the sketchbook. Every other sketchbook that I had before this one, I couldn't ever really let myself go. I always wanted it to be this like perfect, beautiful sketchbook that I could show off to everyone. And I felt like I couldn't waste any paper. I felt like anything other perfection was a waste. And that's such a bad attitude to have. A sketchbook is for working in, it's, it's, it's for practice and for experimentation and for sketches. It's not for perfection, it's not called a perfection book. Um, so when I started this sketchbook, I decided that it was going to be more than a sketchbook. I would allow myself to use this sketchbook as a place for anything and everything. Notes and lists, sketches, mementos, memories. It's an art journal, a scrapbook, and a sketchbook. 
By taking off the pressure of having to fill the entire thing with beautiful artwork, it made it so much easier for me to work in. Just let yourself be messy. So that kind of leads into my third tip, which is to make it more than a sketchbook. So I would encourage all of you to make your sketchbooks more than a sketchbook. As I said, mine's an art journal and a scrapbook as well. I collect things from where I go and I stick them in. So I have like stickers, postcards, invitations, feathers, leaves, photos, all that kind of stuff. Um, I scrapbook, I write quotes, and I let myself get messy. And this is really helpful for a few reasons. Uh, first, it makes your sketchbook a really inviting and happy place. So you don't look back and see all this old artwork that you don't like. You look back and you see happy memories. And secondly, it fills the sketchbook up faster, which is actually really helpful because it reduces pressure on you. And personally from experience, the bulkier that the sketchbook gets, the more you wanna work in it because you're like, oh look, I'm working in it, I'm seeing progress. Even if it's just something that you've stuck in, so you're more inclined to draw. Uh, so it's, it just makes it a lot less scary when it's filled with things and bursting at the seams. My fourth tip for filling up a sketchbook is to work out of order. So something that is so, so stressful is starting at page one and you see a whole book filled with blank white pages that you're supposed to fill up. So don't start at page one, um, jump around. If you wanna start in the middle, start in the middle. Even if you start at the front, I personally tend to draw on the right side of the page because it's easier and I leave the left side blank. Then I'll go back and stick things on the left side of the page um, or I'll use it for sketches later. So my sketchbook isn't in chronological order and that's okay. Um, I date all my pages so I know when I drew the sketch and it allows me to work the whole sketchbook at once and it really takes a lot of pressure off you. My fifth tip is one that pretty much everyone's going to say, which is to carry it with you. Uh, you want to keep it with you at all times, uh, whenever you possibly can, along with a very, very basic sketching kit at the very least. Um, and that's why you want to make sure you find a sketchbook that's a convenient size to carry around. So when you're bored, doodle and sketch in it, write notes in it. If you need paper, later on you could draw on the notes or decorate them. Uh, most sketchbooks also have like a pocket so you can store things in there like stickers and postcards and things that you want to stick in at a later date. So it's just really great to carry around. Um, that way if you do want to sketch, you have your sketchbook. My sixth tip is to work in more than one sitting. So you don't have to finish every sketch on location or even the same day that you started it. I just went back recently and ended up finishing a sketch from a year ago, I think, maybe over a year ago. Uh, sometimes I'll kind of sketch in pencil and then I'll paint in watercolor on it later to seal in that pencil. Sometimes you just get sick of working on something um, or you just don't have the time and you want to move on, so move on. You can always come back and jazz it up later. My seventh and last tip is to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes and it's really important that you allow yourself to make mistakes. If you get a sturdy sketchbook, you can always paint over them. If you hate a page, paint it white and do something else on top. Stick a piece of paper over it and use it as a scrapbook page and you've got loads and loads of options. If you don't like your artwork, just get creative, cover it up, turn it into something else. Worst case scenario, you can always stick something on top. So you don't have to be afraid to make mistakes because you know that that page isn't going to go to waste no matter what. So these are the tricks that I use to make a change in my sketching habits. I'm still working on sketching more and more, but my sketchbook is now a pleasant place to work. It's not something stressful. Like I mentioned, the personal sketchbook that I use and that I found works for me is by Handbook Journal Company, but what everyone needs and wants will be different, so find what works for you. I really hope this video helped anyone struggling to fill out a sketchbook and give you some useful tips and ideas. I also hope you guys liked seeing the little gouache painting in the background. I did this with my new Holbein, Holbein, Holbein gouache paints to test them out um, in my sketchbook, obviously. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And don't forget to join the Wonderland fam and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.